a sterile injectable hormone that is used to induce spawn fish. And it is the premier hormone that is used to breed fish artificially worldwide. It was introduced to the Southeast Asian region by Sindel Laboratories in the 1980s. This product is backed by years and years of extensive research on the use of overprim on tropical fishes in India and in China. In the 80s, Sindel Labs, together with Sindel Asia, worked hand in hand to promote overprim in the Southeast Asian region via Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, which is now the hub of overprim distribution within this region. Overprim is a synthetic hormone and contains the analogue of the salmon gonadotropin releasing hormone as well as a dopamine inhibitor. Both the SGNRHA and the dopamine inhibitor work hand in hand to stimulate fish's own reproductive hormone and get the fish to release its egg and sperm for fertilization. Overprim is a ready-to-use sterile injectable liquid and is safe to use on fish and handled by humans. Overprim comes in a liquid form. It comes in a black bottle and should be stored away from sunlight. It has a three-year shelf life. Once opened, it's best that you keep Overprim in the fridge. Using Overprim, time to ovulation following injection is highly predictable with high fertility and viability. Overprim is very potent and it has been successfully used in most major cultured species around the world. Overprim is best used when fish is sexually mature. In order to check if the fish has viable eggs or sperm, we can either cannulate the fish to check the egg or sperm condition or gently massage the belly of the fish to express the eggs or sperm. The fish should be ready to release eggs or sperm. External signs to identify sexually mature fish is bloated stomach, courtship display, enlarged and red obvious genital papilla. In this instructional video for overprim, we shall look at two types of fish to induce spawn using overprim. The first is the common carp and the second is the catfish. The two species have different methods of induced breeding. The common carp is injected with overprim and left to release its eggs and sperms the natural way. The catfish, however, needs to be stripped off its eggs and fertilized by the sperm using the dry fertilization method. The recommended dosage for overprim is 0.5 ml per kg, body weight of fish, but this dosage can vary among species. Before you inject the fish, there are a few steps that you have to take. First, make sure you anesthetize the fish for easier handling. Secondly, weigh the fish to determine the body weight of the fish. Calculate the dosage of overprim needed based on the body weight of the fish. The recommended dosage for overprim is 0.5 ml per kg fish body weight. Remember, for male fishes, usually the overprim dosage is half of the female dosage. Usually, the common carp only needs a single injection or dosage of overprim. The usual practice is to actually inject overprim around the dorsal fin area, here, intramuscular, or you can also inject under the pectoral fin. Yeah. So the idea is to actually lift the scale, penetrate the flesh. When you inject, you pull back a little bit, administer inject the, the yeah, and administer the jab. Okay, very good. Once you remove the the needle, press down, and this is to avoid backflow. After injecting the common carp, place an adequate ratio of male to female into a prepared tank with substrate, such as water plants or submerged soft netting. 
These substrates are important to provide a conducive environment to encourage the fish to release its eggs onto the substrate and the male to release its sperm to fertilize the eggs. There should be eggs after 10 to 12 hours. Once the eggs have hatched, remove the netting with the eggshells in order to avoid polluting the water. The method for broodstock selection for catfish is to massage the belly of the female and check the condition of egg that comes out. The eggs should be a good dark brown in color, loose and not clumpy, and comes out easily when the stomach is massaged. If the eggs are green or clumpy, this is an indication that eggs may be unripe and not ready for ovulation. For the males, check the genital papilla. It should be red and protruding. Once the broodstock has been selected, weigh them, calculate the overprim dosage needed and inject. Again, the recommended dosage is 0.5 milliliter per kilogram of body weight of fish. For catfish, a lower dosage of 0.3 to 0.4 milliliter per kilogram may be enough but it depends on the species and the condition of the fish. The male catfish will only require half the dosage of the female. Inject the catfish intramuscular along the dorsal or pectoral fin. The correct method to inject a fish is to insert the needle at a 45 degree angle and pull the needle back a little to create a small pocket in the muscle of the fish. Inject the fish, remove the needle and apply pressure against the injected area. This method is to enable easier injecting and to avoid backflow. Place the female and male in separate tanks to discourage natural release of eggs by the female. After 8 to 10 hours, express the eggs from the female into a bowl. Cut the testis out of the male and macerate the testis to obtain its sperm. Squeeze the sperm onto the eggs and use a feather to gently mix them together. Add Ovidin, a PVPI based disinfectant and 100 ppm to disinfect the eggs so that the fertilized eggs do not get infected by fungus. Rinse the eggs and add water to hydrate the eggs and sperm to promote fertilization. Spread the fertilized eggs onto prepared netting and place them in the water. Eggs should hatch after 24 hours. By using overprint to inject your male and female fish, you can synchronize their spawning and produce eggs with high fertility and viability. This beautiful farm belongs to Mr. Stephen. He has owned this farm for over 20 years and he started this farm with grass carp and tilapia. Stephen has been using Overprim for more than a decade with fantastic results.